Hello guys, question number four, paper four, 2018, Mejun. Describe the movement of the molecules in a solid. You know that the particles of the solid are too close to each other, so there are no spaces between the molecules, so it will vibrate. Double I in a gas. This is the opposite case for the solid. The particles of the gas are far away from each other, we have more spaces between the molecules, so it can move in a random motion in all directions and with a high speed. So random in all directions and zigzag with a high speed. B. A closed box contains gas molecules. Explain in terms of momentum how molecules exert a pressure on the walls of the box. You know that the pressure will be exerted in the inner walls of the box by collision between the molecules and the inner wall and also the collisions between the molecules with each other so we can say molecules collide with the walls and change in momentum happen or occurs because he said in terms of momentum and the force on the walls equal total change in momentum per second and you know that the pressure equal total force divided by total area of walls. If a, a ray of light in air is incident on a glass block. The light changes direction. State I, the name of this effect. As you know, refraction of light is the change of the light direction when it moves from one medium into another medium. These two mediums are different in their densities. So it will be refraction. Double I, the cause of this effect. The reason for the refraction is the change of the speed of light between different mediums and also change in the refractive index of the medium. So, change in speed of light speed of light of mediums yes and also you can say change in n which is the refractive index of medium change in the refractive index which is n which is the refractive index as I said B figure 5.1 Drawn to full scale shows a thin converging lens of focal length 3.5 cm. So this is convex lens which is converging for the light rays. I, on figure 5.1, mark each of the two principal focuses and label each with the letter F. As you know, focal length, which is F, is the distance between the optical center and principal focus. So he said, F equal 3.5 and each box equal 1 cm as you see so I'll start to measure from the middle which is the optical center 1 box 1 cm 2 3 and 3.5 will be in the middle as you see so this is F and also from here 1 2 3 and 0 0.5 which is in the middle so so this is F yes Double I. An object O of height 4.5 or 4.4 cm. So the height of this object equal 4.4 cm is placed a distance of 7.5 cm from the lens. So the distance from the optical center and this object equal 7.5 cm. On figure 5.1, draw rays from the tip of the object from here, object O, to locate the image draw and label the image so in this case as you see the distance between the optical center and f we can call it focal length 3.5 centimeter so double of the focal length will be 7 centimeter so here we have 0 0.5 1 2 3 so this is double of the focal length its symbol is c and also here 0 0.5, 1, 
two, three, so this is C. So the object in this case found at a distance greater than double of the focal length. What about the properties of image will be formed? The properties of the image will be formed. It will be diminished and real and inverted and its found will be between F and C which is the focal length and double of the focal length again so when the object found at a distance more than double of the focal length the image will be formed its properties will be real inverted diminished and found between F and C so if we start to draw the ray the first ray as you know from the tip of this object will be parallel to the principal axis right so what will happen to this ray it will refract but it will refract passing through what passing through the focus as you know and the second ray from the tip of the object will pass through the optical center it will not refract undeviated till it reach the uh, other ray and the intersection between them will be the image so the image here so this is the image if you start to draw it like this so this is the image and this is the arrow right so this is the image so we can label the image because he said label the image right determine the height of the image but here we have to draw the arrows don't forget to draw the arrow so this is the first one parallel to the principal axis it will refract passing through the focus and after that the second ray will pass through the optical center undeviated it will move in a straight line as you see determine the height of the image as you see one two three and three point six centimeter state and explain whether the image is real or virtual we said the image will be real real means it can be seen on the screen and it's opposite to the virtual virtual means it cannot be received on the screen that's it